before I start today's video, I got a quick personal little plug product promotion to get out of the way. Right now on the Rigged Fishing Store, I've got some new shirts, including the one I'm wearing right now and under this one right here. And it would absolutely make my day if you guys check the link in the description below, pick some of these shirts up if you need some new shirts. Honestly, make me so happy. And what you guys do by buying the shirts helps fuel this channel and keeps me going and traveling and fishing and producing more videos for you guys. Had to get that out of the way. Enjoy the rest of today's video. Thanks for watching. It's a real low moment. Should I explain the purple racer? <laughs> Can you explain everything there? Before we left, I I used all my razors. This was the only one I could find. This was my girlfriend's. It is brand new, has not been used. Also, I'm using your lemongrass hand lotion. Shaving <laughs> <laughs> with a purple. <laughs> this is our last day at the Best Western here in Central Michigan. Chris and I are gonna move on to bigger and better things. We feel like we haven't yet gotten that that smallmouth fix that we've been hunting for. Today we really just want to catch them. So we're going to link up with the, the smallmouth guru himself, Ben Nowak. Oh, I guess I'm driving. What the heck am I doing? Anyway, I thought that'd be a, an amazing way to start off today's vlog and show you that, yes, indeed, we are scrubs. And uh, this is how we live. I felt ready once John B gets his head out of his ass. I, I was like sitting down and then just casting the shorelines. So behind me right there is our buddy, our good buddy, Ben. He's the local smallie stick out here in central Michigan. We've met him at this ramp. It's gorgeous out, absolutely beautiful. Today, instead of just going out and banging our heads out in the lake and just kind of saying, hey, we're gonna fish, we're gonna spice things up for you guys, do a little challenge and make today's video enjoyable. The thing is, we just figured out the logistics for this challenge and kind of what we want to do. Um, I don't know why I'm yelling, sorry about that. So this right here is what today's challenge will entail. So now that you guys know the rules, I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy today's video. You ready, Ben? I am ready. We're going to catch them today. And um, John and Chris are going to go down. You guys are going to lose. So. What? All right, Ben. Good luck. All right, so this is how we're going to play this because we're on the same boat. If you catch a fish, you get the motor. Do you like that? Good. Oh, guys, I'm starting off with a crankbait. It's a pretty modest start for today. It's nothing too crazy. I mean, I could go straight to like the top water, but I think I'm gonna ease into this day and see if I can get one on a moving bait before I get too crazy. I've got a lot of lures that I can knock out. And the goal for today isn't necessarily catching fish on all the lures, but choosing the right ones to build up that, you know, that score. You wanna catch fish on a specific lure that's going to put more points on the scoreboard. That's the objective. And the objective too is also to be Chris and Ben. As it gets dark, down. You know what that was? A log. Is this where we started to catch him at last time? Oh no. Oh no. That's a small mouth. That's the right, that's the right fish. There's the icebreaker right there. Ben just caught the first small of the day. We've been out here for what feels like six hours and something has happened. Oh, what a good one. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> About time, dude. Woo! Yeah, <sighs> big one. Of course I am facing, there we go. 
There we go. There we go. Oh, you see it. Look at that dude. Look at the knots in its head. See that? Whoa. Nice two pounder getting to weight. Oh, it feels good. Oh my God. I just wanted to catch a fish so bad today. If I went home empty handed, I would have been salty. All right, gonna get a weight. Huh? Here we go, here we go, here we go. 286. There you go. Take a fish like that any day. There she goes. Back in the water. Kick and she's gone. That took way, way, way too long. My hopes and morale were like this slow until I got that good bite. That's like my second bite of the day. We've been fishing for the majority of the afternoon. Ben has one, Chris has one. I finally got one on the jig, but that does feel good. One more smallmouth. If I would've gotten skunked the last day here in Michigan, I would've been salty, very salty, but it didn't happen. The fish came off this metal seawall right here, in about five feet of water. I got right in between those slots, pulled it off a bit, and he just chomped it, held onto it for a long time. Oh, struggle bus city. I'm telling you, all aboard Chris and John and Ben, and we still have some daylight left, so always time for six pounder to slip on in before we head back. Chris? 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 Oh, wait. Get off my motor. <laughs> I forgot about that rule. Oh my God. Dude. What the hell was that? They're piking here? That was 100% a musky. That thing hit so hard I just my pants. Well, why if, hasn't he hit my jerk bait? If that was a smallmouth, it was like a 10 pounder. Was that brush floating towards us or am I tripping? Oh, it's floating towards us. Okay. Woo! God, I just missed another fish. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Well, oh, we're good. Oh my God, that was so freaking ridiculous. How did I break off like that? Oh! Another smallie. We on it. It's another good one. Yeah, I'll take it. All day. Another smallmouth. A little bit smaller than that first one. I'm not gonna weigh him, but we'll take it. Oh, it feels good. Wow, I broke the ice. What happened here? I'm making a comeback. Who the heck knew? All right, see you, bub. Like that, Chris? Like that, buddy? Step aside, I'm about to catch another one. There we go. That one's just sitting with it for the longest time. Watch out, guys. Well, you're, you're gonna lose the challenge because you've already got- I know, but I, he's fishing the jig right now, so I gotta keep fishing something. I gotta, I gotta overlap. oh, that's good. We're just littering now. But see, my tactic is he's fishing the jig, so if he catches a three pounder, but I have no confidence in anything else. That's just it. That one came off the bank. Yeah, uh, no. Yeah, kind of. Another fish, not gonna help. See you later, bye. Yeah, so the whole point of the challenge is to keep moving on to different lures, but the issue I have right now is Ben is also throwing the jig. Is that a fish? Ben's also throwing the jig and he's trying to knock out my two eight. So I either play offense and try to go for another lure that may not catch them and I don't have confidence, or I keep at the jig and try to combat him out of that stance. Yeah, but I have absolutely no confidence in jerkbait. I'm in like full parrot mode right now. Oh no. Got one on a crankbait. I'm on a jig. Why can't oh! we catch one? What the heck? We found him. We found him. Woo! This is brutal. I can't get a bite. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta put the jig down. Ben's got one on the crankbait. I'm in last place now. Or are you in last place? No, I still have three points. Dang it. Okay, I gotta put this down. Hey, take it easy. Oh my God, this is so stressful now. Yeah, now this is becoming a challenge. You haven't caught one on the tube yet though, have you? Yeah, but that's finesse. Yeah, but his finesse fish. How big was your finesse fish, Ben? We're getting versatile here, folks. We're gonna make some moves, some big, 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 big moves. Holy smokes, my palms are sweating. So this is the move right now, I've got a lot, sorry, I've got a lot of options. I can clear out the top water category, the crankbait category, so on and so forth, but I think right now I'm gonna try to rebuttal. So we're both throwing finesse. We're both trying to bump Ben out of his category. Is that what's going on here? Also, thanks for the motor, I appreciate it. So this is the next tactic. It's close to a jig, it's on the bottom, it's subtle. So I think I have way more confidence in this than throwing a crankbait. Is that a shaky hit? Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it on that. Here we go. There we go. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Come on. This is this is the fish to beat. This is the fish to beat. Oh my god, it's barely hooked. It's barely hooked. Come on. Woo! Oh my god. Finesse. Yeah, just <laughs> shake in four, uh, four inch worm. <laughs> Woo! Yes, boy! Okay. I needed this fish so incredibly bad. This is 
for sure gonna beat Ben's one pounder that he caught in the drop shot earlier today. I am like so stoked right now. Dude, I popped it off a rock and she just clobbered it. On a zero scale, two, four, nine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, this just bumped Ben's fish off the uh, finesse category. I've got two fish now for I think, what is that, three points or something like that, three points? Anyway, that's good, regardless, it's good. Okay, back in the water she goes. Let's see little guy. Boom. Let me revisit this. Okay, so jig counts as two, finesse is one. That's what we wrote down. Really? Yeah, that's what I have in my notes. This is this is kind of like the final hour, guys. Final five minutes in this challenge. I can't believe how how much of a switch today took. And I think I might might have dodged the uh, the L. I was a little worried too because Chris had You're that first loser. had that three point. Well, I'm first loser, but <laughs> I'm the middleman here. I def I play I play defense pretty well. That feels good. That's just always good to have that in the back of your head. I think. Uh, Things are wrapping up, and after that, we're gonna go to the ramp and explain what the loser has to do or how we're gonna handle this. It's over. It's over. Whew. It's over. It's all over. What a day. We're gonna head back to the ramp now and figure out what we're gonna do. Never in my history of ever doing challenges and YouTube videos have I ever had a challenge do a 180 like that before. It was an incredible day. We went from like zero to making a video and making a cool experience out of today's little river trip. There was a point in time where I legitimately thought I wasn't going to post a video today. Our moods did a 180, the fish did a 180, they started biting, and it turned out to be a great day. Unfortunately, our good buddy Ben is taking the L on this one. Chris caught one on the popper, which is three points, and then one on the jerk bit, which is two points. So he held the title for those two categories. I held the categories for jig, which is two points, and finesse. I actually bumped him out of finesse, which is insane. That was like a last minute deal. The only thing that Ben was able to capture was crankbait fish. So we all managed to cover all of our bases. We built this challenge layout when we got to the ramp today, and we didn't have a punishment. That was the one thing we couldn't figure out. So that's where you guys are gonna come into play. We want you to decide what Ben's gonna have to do. Within reason, I mean, like, don't tell him he has to climb Mount Everest or don't tell him he has to eat like a moldy hot dog, although that would be absolutely hilarious. Anyway, something reasonable that's hilarious, that's like a good end all be all for um, a challenge outcome. Let us know. The like with the, or the comment with the, it's the other way around, John. The comment with the most likes on my video, Chris's video, or Ben's video will be the one that Ben has to do and he'll do it like at a later date. But let us know in the, uh, comment section below. Also be sure to check out Ben's channel and Chris's channel. Both these guys have channels in the link or in the description linked below. I'm slowly fading and falling asleep, my apologies. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Chris and I are heading back to Michigan tomorrow. Oh, you're brutal right now. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit, Jesus, I am brutal right now. Chris and I are heading back to Ohio tomorrow. Um, got about a five and a half hour drive ahead of us. This whole Michigan experience is pure Michigan experience. As Chris said in one of his videos, was insanely awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep fishing, never stop.